uh, intermediate or upper intermediate uh, English level. Uh, and uh, it is, uh, it is uh, main, main, main task the main for me. Reason. Yeah, the main task. Main okay, very good. Uh, can I ask what is the weather like in Moscow? Because in my place it's something like a catastrophe. It's extremely hot, plus 42. What about Moscow? Uh, uh, the weather is cold. Uh, uh, only seven, 17 uh, grades. Degrees. Degrees. De degrees, yes. Degrees, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, we hope <laughs> the weather uh, will good. Uh, maybe mm -hmm. tomorrow, maybe too late. Uh, t today. Okay. Okay. So uh, now we know you a little bit better, and I hope you will enjoy our speaking club today. So if you have any questions after the meeting, you, you can ask me them. But now you just uh, need to wait while we are going to listen to other people. Thank you so much for joining us anyway. Okay, Natalia, you are a new person as well. Can we know something about you? Uh, yes, uh, hello everybody. My name is Natalia. I, I live in Moscow too, so I see uh, the same weather um, uh, in my window. Um, I work in an international company and I work in uh, marketing de department. Uh, my main uh, functions, uh, yes, is uh, working with uh, PR and uh, internal and external communications. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's my first time in uh, conversation club. Uh, uh, actually, I will start uh, um, learn English in Skyeng uh, from tomorrow. Tomorrow oh, is my first uh, <laughs> lesson, yes. Okay. But uh, I, I saw uh, this meeting and uh, I want uh, to try to see w what is it, how how it um, going. Uh, so I don't know what to say else. You can, uh, ask can I ask why do you learn English? What's your purpose? Um, I learn English. Uh, I, I have different reasons. Uh, one of them, uh, it's my job because, uh, um, as Andres said, uh, a lot of companies uh, need a good level of English, um, and I want. Uh, I speak with my fo foreign colleagues now, but uh, I want to do it uh, uh, easier and. Uh, uh, now it's uh, too much stress for me, um, and uh, actually I, I want to know English good because I, I usually need it uh, on vacation, uh, on, uh, on on my work. Uh, so I think it's good to know English uh, very good. <laughs> Yeah, very good. Thank you. Thank, thank you for that intention. You know, tell me, please, uh, if I ask you personally, what is the main, um, how to say, your your main drawback, your main disadvantage when you speak English? What seems the most difficult thing for you when you speak or when you learn, when you read, when you listen? Uh, the most difficult for me now uh, is to understand the English speech, especially from British people. Uh, it's not difficult wh when I'm talking with uh, people from different countries who uh, uh, who is not native speakers of English. Uh, it, it is it, it is easier, uh, but it's very difficult to speak with British people, uh, island people, uh, and uh, uh, the same. Um, and uh, it's difficult uh, sometimes to find uh, words. I think I uh, don't know a lot of words. Mm -hmm. my, my grammar it's not good too, but it's it's not the main problem I think because uh, many people understand me. Mm -hmm. I see good. And uh, one more question: Do you have a Russian speaking teacher or a native speaker? Uh, I ch uh, I chose native native speaker. Yes. So English man, I guess. Yeah, British guy. Uh, n no, I want. Uh, yes, I wanted to start from uh, with American because uh, it will be e easier for f in the first lessons. But after, mm -hmm. uh, but but then I, I would like to change uh, teacher on British. Yes. 
Okay, okay, I see. So if you join us next time, I would love to listen to your comments. How was that? It's really interesting. Thank you for joining us, and I hope you will love it as well. Thank you so much. My dear lady, Tatiana, you are not a new person, so I haven't seen you for one week, I guess. So what's new with you? I guess, according to your color of your skin, you have been on vacation, right? Yes, hello everyone. Hello, Julia. Yes, I have been on vacations. I uh, I remember I told you before that I was in Portugal in Lisbon uh, with my mother. And now yeah. I'm okay. If you have seen me uh, some days before, <laughs> my face uh, was awful. <laughs> oh, you were a tomato girlfriend. <laughs> yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> yes, but now now it's it's okay. Yes. So was th was that your first time in Portugal? How was that? Uh, yes, I like it very much. It's a very, uh, very interesting, very uh, democratic city. And uh, but unfortunately, it was very hot. Yeah. And it I was know. it was it was a bad idea to go <laughs> in a hot place in the middle of summer. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I ask it everybody who travels to Portugal: Have you tried Madeira? They they mm. have this special kind of wine or something? No. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> oh. Really bad. I, th I think you need to go back there one more time and just try it. Okay, what, what about people there? Uh, how do they look like? What are they as, as people? What's, what's special about Portuguese people? Uh, maybe they are very welcoming because uh, uh, sometimes uh, we ask it something and everybody wants to uh, help with us. Help with us, and also, no. For example, we wanted to visit toilet, <laughs> and just <laughs> and we just uh, came uh, came to the first restaurant and asked about it, and they uh, uh, permit permitted us. Okay. I know in many places you should uh, also pay for it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, great. Out, uh, and, uh, yes, so. and by the way, what about their ability to speak English? How good are they? Um, no, it was okay. Everyone spoke spoke mm -hmm. English. It was great. So, yeah. have you? Uh, did you hear people speak in Portuguese? What kind of language is that? For me, it seems like I speak Spanish. So, for me, it seems like there there is a lot of sound sh all the time they pronounce it. What do you think? Uh, no, I I maybe I did not uh, notice uh, <laughs> not because I, I not so I I have not so much contact with these people. And uh, one more one more question to you, because I'm really inter interested in traveling. Uh, have you visited only Lisbon or any other little towns, or maybe the no, seaside as well? Lisbon. Lisbon. And also, I understood that if uh, there there is no uh, no sea or but very close ocean mm -hmm. and a very big uh, river, very wide wide river, and we feel that we, river it's. Uh, Tess, Tess, mm -hmm. and uh, we and uh, I understood that if uh, if there, is, there are palms in city, it's uh, ninety percent uh, that I love this city. Oh, <laughs> and okay. also, we felt uh, we felt uh, us uh, like we on the uh, sea coast. Mm -hmm. I see. Yes, okay, great. Yes, and uh, it it feels that it was wind, wind, wind. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe temperature was above uh, 30 degrees, uh, but it's not, not, not so strong hot. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. I, are you going to come back there one more time, one day? Yes, maybe. Ah, and I also was surprised because uh, in the city I have seen a lot of young people with uh, uh, surfing boats. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yes, and I know that uh, in Portugal, Portugal is a good place for surfing. And uh, there, uh, uh, cold, uh, cold mm -hmm. ocean, uh, mm -hmm. but uh, very high, big uh, waves, and many people <laughs> go there, especially for uh, surfing and uh, wind surfing. Uh, okay, I, see. I, I, I guess next time you will go there just for surfing yourself. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> maybe with this. Thank, thank you for the story, and uh, I hope you will enjoy it as well as usual. You are my constant visitor here. Thank you for joining us as well. So. My dear friends, now we know a little bit better about each other, uh, so I would like us to start uh, discussing our topic. As you could see, it's, it's, uh, the topic is the right job for you, 
and to start with I want each of you to describe your position which you occupy nowadays and maybe to mention some uh, pluses and minuses of your position, advantages and disadvantages of your work. Just uh, tell some common information about your working place, okay? Our dear gentleman, Andrew, I guess you will start. Can you share with us some information? Uh, yes, uh, I work in a little company, uh, only uh, 50, uh, maybe 60 uh, person mm -hmm. uh, in company, working company. Uh, uh, I work. Uh, I uh, start start started work in company uh, ten years old. Oh, ten, ten years, years ago. ago. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, uh, when I was a student, uh, uh, it 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 uh, was a junior position, uh, but now I am senior position mm -hmm. okay. and senior developer um, and uh, I think uh, uh, well, uh, what plus uh, plus uh, on this company it is a re very friendly uh, team very friendly colleague uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, different tasks different uh, technology no because uh, uh, any different project uh, cre creating or any different project uh, uh, company join to this different project and uh, uh, a lot of technology uh, we under understood and uh, uh, te teach teach thought thought teach is what teachers. teachers do maybe you learn no, not teach, learn learn yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay uh, and uh, why uh, I want to uh, change my job because uh, maybe it is a, a for finan financial crisis maybe it is uh, uh, will we lost two main uh, person from company uh, not, uh, and last uh, half a, a year and uh, our company no uh, not not changing, not uh, new project uh, was stopped, uh, and uh, uh, we uh, my job uh, uh, was uh, in, in last time was uh, very uh, <laughs> it was very boring, 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 boring. Yeah. Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Great. So, thank you for the common information. We go to next person. Natalia, what about you? The same question. Uh, yes. Um, so, uh, as, as I said earlier, I work in international company. Uh, it's a big company uh, in the world, but it's not too big uh, in Russia. It's uh, not a big office. It's near 100 uh, person all over the Russia. Uh, and about uh, about half of them is in Moscow. Uh, so I work uh, in marketing department. I'm um, uh, um, I'm head of PR direction in in it. Uh, so I think my job is very interesting. Uh, I mean. Uh, PR uh, industry industry is very interesting uh, because um, I work with uh, different um, directions of it. Uh, I work uh, with uh, media, uh, newspapers, uh, different si websites, uh, TV, radio. Uh, I work with uh, social media. Uh, I work. I make. Uh, um, I don't make uh, conferences, but uh, I help uh, our speakers to speak at conferences. Mm -hmm. um, I make uh, different, um, very, very, very different projects uh, in it. Uh, uh, so I think it's uh, a big uh, plus of my job uh, because it's very uh, interesting industry. Uh, also, um, pluses uh, are. Um, 
a very good team in our company, very open, very friendly people. Um, what about minuses? Uh, uh, maybe because uh, after crisis we have not so much money to, to make a big projects, uh, interesting projects. So uh, it, it, uh, my my job became uh, not so active, not so uh, interesting than earlier. Uh, but I hope uh, it will change uh, inside company, or maybe I will find a new company for me. Okay, I see. So you mean that you feel the crisis actually? Yeah, it's not like some kind of myth or stereotype. Actually, the crisis exists nowadays, and many companies suffer. Uh, yes. Uh, um, fortunately, I don't feel crisis myself uh, mm -hmm. because, uh, for fortunately, I, I hadn't uh, changed the salary or something like this. But yes, uh, it's it's very difficult time for uh, different companies from very small to very big. Um, usually, companies uh, should um, uh, hire. Yes, увольнять. Увольнять fire. Fire, yeah. Fire, it's the opposite process. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, for, for fire some people and our company too, unfortunately, di did it last year. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Okay, I see. Do you have any people in your subordination? Uh, I had uh, before uh, <laughs> they, uh, they were uh, fired. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now there is there isn't anybody who you control and uh, master. No, 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 no. I have. Okay, okay. Thank you for the story. Great. Thank you so much, Tatiana. What about you? I know a little bit. Share with our guys as well. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, I'm working in an international company, I, and uh, we have a multicultural staff. I'm a civil engineer in tunneling and underground construction, and we design and do consulting uh, for many projects in all over the world. For example, I took part in project in uh, Latin America, in Middle East, or in India. And uh, I like my job, and uh, <laughs> it's interesting. Every new project is uh, challenging for me. Uh, I have uh, good knowledge in my profession, but tunneling is a very unusual structure, and uh, every new project has uh, uh, some uh, uh, futures, and uh, every time we should uh, to decide uh, new, new issues. Mm -hmm. What about uh, drawbacks, disadvantages? Are there any? Uh, I think that uh, the biggest disadvantages of my job is that we work too much. Now we have a lot of the very powerful software and uh, which have us uh, uh, simplify and automatization, I think. Yeah. Yes, and uh, auto to do automatization of our calculations and analysis. And so if... Uh, if uh, I think that uh, people uh, 10 or 20 years ago did the same uh, stuff, but uh, for this uh, they needed maybe a week. And now I can do the same work only for some hours. But mm -hmm. I need to sit in my work from 8 to 18 hours. <laughs> okay, okay, I so, see. So, do you have any people in your subordination? The same question. Uh, sorry, what, what means subordination? Do you, do you have any people in your subordination? I mean, подчиненные, uh, subordination. Do you have? Ah, no, 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 I'm no. Uh, no only, I have only uh, managers. <laughs> have some managers. Okay, it will be a little bit later. We will discuss them. They don't know about that, but we will. We will tell all the truth about them. Okay, okay, I see. Thank you. I, and by the way, uh, when did you start working for the company? How long was your wait? Uh, for current uh, company, I work uh, three years. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I see. And uh, the same question, like uh, our guys told us that they are thinking maybe because of the crisis to change their position maybe in future. What about you? Uh, 
I can say that the crisis, not only in Russia, crisis is all over. Because, uh, for example, now we have some projects in oil uh, countries, it's in Qatar and uh, Iran. And there we also stopped uh, this project because they have no money to pay. And we also oh. had a crisis this winter and we, uh, our uh, manager, our company fired uh, for person, for people. Oh. Okay. So crisis is all over. All, over. Okay, yeah. so we can we can cry all together. Yeah, it's not only about Russia, such a bad place for living, for working, we yes. hated. Yeah, okay. Yes. I see. Thank you so much. What can I say? Who is here? How are you doing? Hello, I'm pretty good. What about you? We are just fine, as you can see. Where have you been? Oh, I Ooh. just walked maybe, all this time. Yeah, as I can see, you haven't moved to Canada yet, right? No, I didn't. I no, you haven't. Uh, yeah, I'm too busy to do anything, you know. Summer okay. is a okay. very hard time. I see. So let's take the chance and uh, talk to you. We are so lucky today to have you here. So, uh, I the am same so lucky. Yeah. The same question to you. Tell us a little bit about your working place, what you do, the pluses and minuses of your work. Just we are discussing work. Unfortunately, it's Saturday today, but Julia was crazy enough to to speak about work. But let's do that. Uh, well, I work for uh, one of the biggest Russian companies. Uh, my company's name Can is Gazprom. Can you tell the name? <laughs> G G Gazprom. Okay. Have you heard about it? <laughs> Let's applaud, I think. The guy works for Yes, yes. Okay. Come on. Uh, uh, well, uh, I, my workplace is a very big uh, industrial area, which uh, includes four plants on uh, one territory. So it's really big uh, territory, and you know, it's like a city inside the city. Uh, with its own legislation, with its own, uh, you know, traffic, transport, it's big, big, closed area. Uh -huh. uh, well, I'm an engineer, I'm an electrical engineer, and, uh, um, you know, it's nothing interesting connected to my job, I'm just uh, an office rat. <laughs> oh, come on, I guess the most interesting part is the salary, right? Uh, have, uh, yeah, as as the as the as the TV commercial says, uh, all your dreams will come true. Is it true? Uh, no, you know it's one of stereotypes about Gazprom. It's oh, not a okay. rich company. <laughs> no, uh. So they they forced you to say that no, no, it's a bad place for work. Don't even apply to the job. Yeah. Uh, no, it's better to apply there, but it's difficult to uh, get a job there. So, <laughs> but uh, you know, uh, it, foreign companies uh, pay uh, usually pay more than uh, Russian companies in uh, this particular uh, industry. Okay, I see. So, any any good pluses of the company? Maybe you have a good manager or brilliant colleagues. Or your working day starts at 11 a.m. Anything about like that? No, unfortunately, my uh, working day starts at uh, 8 o'clock and ends sometimes at 8 and 10 o'clock p.m. So I have absolutely crazy working day, but uh, I have very good collective. You know, uh, there are 20,000 employees. Uh, in my company in uh, in this in the area, so there are a lot of uh, good people among them, and I'm really glad to uh, meet them. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, but some of them. Okay, okay, okay. I see. Thank you. Today I'm quite disappointed because you said that uh, Gazprom is not has nothing to do with money. It's just a bad working place. That's what I will remember. No, no. <laughs> no it's, not bad. it's not bad, but it's not the best. It's not bad. It's, it's okay. So I'm joking. So, you know, my next question will be about your working day. Just tell me how it happens from the morning till the evening, if you don't mind. So, Andrew, can you start, please? Uh, I'm half of uh, 
flexi time uh, job uh, I can start uh, uh, any uh, what I wa what I want uh, yeah. from nine to twelve and oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. so final, you see Andrew is the lucky guy not you <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but uh, no sometimes uh, it uh, may stop uh, after midnight. <laughs> oh, this is the minus, I would say. Mm -hmm. It's not often because because uh, I can, how I say early uh, in uh, last time we haven't a difficult project and mm -hmm. uh, hard, uh, we didn't uh, hard work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, uh, so and what do you do during the day? Do you call to people? You, I don't know. Work on uh, computer. Uh, often, very often, I'm uh, use uh, email and. Uh, Sometimes phone for contact with our contribution uh, and uh, uh, with my colleague uh, in uh, another uh, office. Mm -hmm. um, we solve task, uh, uh, different task. Uh, uh, we use uh, any uh, um, technical and uh, programming devices for uh, do our job. Because uh, 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 developing program, it is uh, uh, main uh, main uh, not main. <laughs> yeah, it is uh, um, we we have a lot of tools for mm -hmm. developing programs, and we use it, it uh, together with our team. Um, Can I ask? Uh, do you uh, see it? most of the day or you can stand run to another department I don't know do little exercise or it's, it's all about seating mm, yes uh, I'm all, all day sit, sit. Uh, sometimes uh, we go away uh, and uh, walked uh, uh, we, we work uh, in a uh, good place uh, it is Which close one? Clo it is closer to area uh, with a lot of tree, a lot of park. Uh, uh, it is a very plus for this company too. <laughs> can I can I ask which district of Moscow you work in? Because I used uh, to live in Moscow, so I know it quite well. Uh, uh, it is uh, location in uh, Kashirka Shosse, mm -hmm. Kash Kashirka okay. Street. Uh, mm -hmm. It is uh, University of oh, okay. Mephi. Mephi. Mm -hmm. Great. So, uh, what about lunch break? Is it uh, a kind of fixed time for you, or it depends on how much work you have? Uh, we eat uh, on workplace. Uh, uh, we uh, both uh, our uh, dishes uh, uh, in uh, another co company, and uh, they are uh, came. No, oh, so they they bring food straight to your office. Yeah. Not not bring. Yes, bring. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, is it is it tasty or you are sick and tired of, of the food and you want some, something? Sometimes. Sometimes uh, it's delicious, mm -hmm. but sometimes it's very. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and un un unhealthy. <laughs> unhealthy. I see. Okay. And can I ask? Do you sometimes have any corporate parties or team buildings? Any any type of uh, reunion between the colleagues? Uh, in the past, uh, it was, but uh, now it uh, it not often. Uh -huh. What is the moved. reason? Crisis again? Uh, crisis and uh, I don't know. It's uh, it's co company uh, co company lost company policy. Uh, yeah, it's a new policy to save a lot of money, not to spend it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. I see. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Natalia. You are next. Thank you.
Um, yes, about my working day. Yes, uh, so uh, it starts uh, at uh, nine o'clock in the morning, and uh, it usually finishes uh, at uh, six p.m. Uh, so fortunately, I can uh, I cannot sit uh, later uh, in the workplace, but sometimes I should uh, to check emails, to answer on it in the evenings or. Um, uh, on weekend, um, but I can do it from home from my m mobile phone, uh, so it's not a problem. Um, uh, during my day, uh, I work uh, on the computer. I have, uh, I usually have uh, two or three meetings with, uh, or, or with my colleagues from other departments, uh, or. Um, uh, or it can be discussions of some projects uh, uh, or meeting with uh, contractors. So I don't know what to say else about my work day. The same question to you. Do you sit most of the time or you, you have to run to other people, to other departments? Uh, uh, I sit uh, the most time, but uh, I think it's about uh, 60, 60 or 65 sense of my work time uh, and sometimes I I move in uh, uh, in the or in different departments uh, and to talking with the colleagues about some projects or something else. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, one more question to you. Do you sometimes uh, spend time with your colleagues out of out of office? I mean during the weekend or maybe in the evening? Uh, yes, uh, of course. Uh, with some uh, co colleagues, we uh, we are meeting and talking not only in the office, but uh, we usually spend uh, uh, one evening uh, in the week together. Uh, we go into the park or to the cafe. Um, we don't meet on the weekends because uh, we all have families uh, and we in different plan. Uh, plans for, for these days, but in the evening, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know, I know one thing, some companies in Moscow, they let their employees to stay at home uh, for one day a week and to work from home. Is it possible in your company? Uh, it's not fixed uh, that you can do it one day uh, in the week, but if you need it, yes, you can. You, if you uh, uh, if you ill, uh, you can don't take um, uh, this. Uh, how to call it? If yeah, you know how to call it. Yes, I don't know yes. how to call Who it. Who knows how to say "balnichny" in English? Maybe medical. Uh, oh no! Or something. Maybe. You can see now what child. I, I will help you. Sick leave. Sick leave. Uh, yeah. Yes. So, so you you, you, can, uh, you can don't take it. You uh, if if you can uh, if you can work, you can work from home if you need to do something in work time and uh, it will be more effective if you will do it and stay at home uh, and work from home, you can do it, yes. But not very often. <laughs> Sometimes okay, uh, people do it too often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I see. In Russia we cannot let people do something good or, or they will step on your, I don't know, on your yes, head, on yes, you. Yes. And they will do whatever whatever they want. And one more question to you. Yeah. How much time do you spend to get from your home to office? Because I know in Moscow it's a crazy situation with traffic. Are you involved uh, in the traffic jams in the morning? No, no, now I spend uh, near 40 minutes uh, to go to, to, to my uh, office, uh, but uh, um, my, my um, uh, this time became so short. <laughs> it's short for for, for Moscow. Uh, became so short n not so uh, long time ago because uh, I moved uh, uh, in January from uh, Moscow region to, to Moscow. So early, I spent uh, two hours to go to my office. Two hours one way. Yes, and two uh, and two or. Two and a half uh, to go back because I lived uh, uh, in 20 kilometers from Moscow. 
My congratulations, what can I say? <laughs> yes, I, I, you, you know, when, when people tell me that, I cannot <laughs> believe it, but I know that it's true. I had some colleagues who traveled from Podolsk, yes. and it was like three hours or something one way, and I, I could not understand that really. I don't know how, <laughs> what do be, you know, can you imagine six hours of your life you spend every day in some train, I don't know, electric train, I mean, or underground. It's crazy. I don't know. Yes. But I, 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 when you, you know, when you spoke about your working place, your face was so inspired. So I guess it's a price that you pay to have that job that you love so much. Am I right? Uh, yes. Yes. I, I like my job. Uh, well, I like my colleagues and uh, my office. Okay. Okay. I see. Thank you so much, Tatiana. The same one. Okay. Uh, I have a sitting clock. Uh, uh, my, uh, uh, I will start. I start to work at uh, eight o'clock and finish at uh, eight uh, p.m. Uh, in the first part of day until uh, until the noon, I try to do the most uh, uh, difficult and difficult work, which try, which require for me uh, uh, most efforts because I know that I'm. I'm the most productive in the first part of day, and uh, then at 12 uh, I have a lunch. Usually I, I have a lunch in our kitchen, office kitchen. Mm -hmm. There we have a microwave, a microwave and I cook uh, the food before uh, uh, the day before, in the yesterday, and uh, the next day I just uh, uh, warm it. But sometimes mm -hmm. if I'm if I'm tired a little, I go somewhere outside in the city to have lunch. And uh, in the second part of the day, I uh, usually I do uh, the routine, routine work. I uh, and uh, during the day I can have a working meeting, maybe communicate with my colleagues. And uh, but most of most part of the day I just sit and do what I <laughs> what I should. <laughs> yes. Okay. Do you sometimes have to work extra hours, maybe in the evening or at the weekend? Uh, yes, yeah, especially in the beginning when I started uh, to work for this company, and uh, it was uh, a lot of new, a lot of new stuff, and I should to maybe refresh my knowledge or maybe to uh, to learn something, uh, something new. And uh, but in my company, we very we count our time. We have uh, cuts, uh, mm -hmm. cuts, and every morning when we come in office, we stamp, mm -hmm. stamp it, and then in uh, in the lunch also we uh, stamp our lunch time, and also when we go away. And if I have over over time, uh, then I can z take this uh, time. Uh, uh, or maybe day off, if I have enough hours. And one crazy thing which we have in our company, uh, for example, I have uh, 42 and uh, 42 hours, uh, 30 minutes, and on Friday I should, and on Friday, uh, every day I work uh, 9 hours, uh, 44 minutes, and on Friday I work 5 hours, uh, 50 uh, 52 minutes and if and uh, according to according to <coughs> yes it's crazy because now I'm living in Austria and here is very uh, it's quadratic practice good if I um, if for example according to Austrian registration if you work more than uh, six hours you should to take a, a break off at least a half an hour and every Friday I count my time because if I work six hours, one minute, I shouldn't uh, deduct half an hour from my working time. So it, it means that, that I work a half an hour less than I did. How, how do you understand all that? I mean, uh, is it a kind of electronic system that calculates your comings and leavings? Yes, yes it's yeah. a small uh, small uh, device on, uh, on, uh, on, our, on our wall after the outdoor to our office. And also we have a, a program uh, a computer program where I can see all my working time, all my uh, holidays, and uh, so on. And I count every minute. <laughs> uh, how boring they live, I would say. You know, there, there isn't any any space for creativity. You know, to leave work in a secret way when your boss doesn't see you. So everything is yes, as you said, quadratic practice. It's yes. okay. Okay. And uh, one more thing: How much do you travel to work? 
I spent uh, only five minutes <laughs> to, oh. to get my work. <laughs> yes. But uh, yeah, the dream in place, I would say. Yes, and I think that uh, in Moscow people spend uh, about one hour to get uh, to their job, and uh, it's good because it's a good yeah, fitness. Yeah, one hour is brilliant. <laughs> yes, it's it's good for fitness. But now I understand that I have problems that I move uh, not so much, and I need to do some special uh, exercises, trainings to run, to jogging. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, to get my body in fit. Okay. Okay, I see. Thank you for the story. Really interesting. Okay, Gazprom guy. What about you? <laughs> Uh, well, I hardly ever have a typical working day. Uh, all my days are different, uh, and <clears throat> it's really I don't know what to say about routine. Uh, my routine is uh, to get a job because it takes a long because we have a traffic jams like in Moscow. Really? Uh, yes, early in the morning, all my city uh, try to go uh, to the same place. Mm -hmm. So, so I, you mean everybody works for Gazprom, yeah? Yes, most of people here and uh, in nearby cities works, work uh, for our company and uh, we all together uh, have to go there at 8 o'clock. So I go there by car, then I uh, leave my car uh, near the workplace because I'm not allowed to uh, drive inside the territory. Then I go to the territory, and uh, we have uh, bus roads there, uh, taxi cabs, <laughs> and other kind of transport. <laughs> then, <laughs> I, I, are you kidding? No. 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 Taxi cabs, and you can. I mean, you, you have to. You have to pay. Yeah. How much is one one ride? No, no, company pays for these cabs. Oh, uh, these cabs are, this is where dreams come true. You can uh, travel by taxi and doesn't, don't pay for that. Uh, only engineers uh, <laughs> can take cabs. But I'm okay. lucky I can take a cab or I catch a bus or some other uh, <laughs> kind of transport. Yeah, it takes about... Or um, oh, oh, Marshrutka, yes, as we have them in Russia. <laughs> Mini bus. Uh, no, we don't have mini buses. We just have big buses there. Um, they walk only inside the territory, and they never go outside. Mm -hmm. So, um, because it's all top secret, <laughs> which is inside. The territory. And finally, I go. Um, and finally, I come to my workplace, and I feel like I live in Moscow because it takes okay. so <laughs> so a lot of time. So how much in total, just from from your door to the to your flat and uh, to the door of the office? About uh, one hour. One hour. Okay. Yes. Not bad. bad. Not bad for most. Natalia can tell you, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's so. great. Okay. So when real work starts, yeah. Yeah. Then real work starts, and uh, sometimes I see. 12 uh, hours uh, in front of the computer and uh, do something can useful. Sometimes uh, <laughs> I run across uh, the industrial industrial territory and uh, work with equipment, work with uh, other people. So, for example, today I'm lucky to be with you because our partners from Tula failed uh, the delivery of a uh, big machine and I have a day off today and I have a day off tomorrow. Let's say thank you to your partners from Tula, really. Yes, I will uh, say it but, <laughs> you know, I will uh, be punished for it but it oh. doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, that's true. Um, and now um, Summertime is the most hot time uh, for oh, industries the usually. Time. Mm -hmm. The hottest time, yeah, because we have uh, all repairs during the summer. Uh, so now it's really interesting there. There are a lot of people who uh, have deadlines, and all of them run across the territory. It's really <laughs> funny. Uh, also, I can tell you about uh, this city inside the city. We have okay. uh, different, um, how, I forgot, forgot on the word, uh, different buildings. Julia, to help you. 
Yes. What, what do you want to say? Like infrastructure, <laughs> you know, oh, okay. we have we have different sport areas. We have saunas there. We have uh, <laughs> a lot of places to eat inside. And cafe. and you told us that it's not about dreams come true. I, I, I as much as you as you talk, you know, I understand that I want to work for for the company really. Uh, but uh, you know you have to pay with your health because uh, it's very polluted environment uh, mm. um, nearby. Uh, so everybody is old and ugly, yeah? <laughs> uh, no, people young there they die. Yeah, they they usually die, die before they return old. Okay. Okay. Yes, what, sometimes. And sometimes. What about what about the lunch time? I guess you eat something from the uh, Michelin star restaurants, no? <laughs> no, usually I take my uh, lunch with me uh, because my wife uh, is brilliant in cookery and uh, I cannot okay. e eat anywhere else. But we have a lot of places there to eat. We have some, um, some cafes with sushi, pizzas, we have just... Uh, what we call stalove and oh, how to say in English? Who knows? Buffet, maybe. Oh no! Huh? Nobody knows. Nobody eats in stalove. Yeah? <laughs> it's can canteen. Everybody eats, but nobody knows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, canteen. <laughs> right, canteen. Oh, mm -hmm. it's great, crazy work. <laughs> yeah, but sometimes. Why? Uh, you know, now I work in uh, for IKEA company. I teach them English here in my city, and they love this place so much. They are crazy about it. You know, all the great negotiations happen there, and they in Russian they say canteen as well. <laughs> and it's so funny. Давай пойдем в canteen, and it's really funny to hear that. You know, they speak like a mixture of English and Russian at the same time. It's really interesting. So can can. Canteen is a very good place, actually. Okay. Sorry for interrupting. Mm, well, <laughs> I don't know what to say else. What I wanted. Uh, uh, what about the corporate parties you have? Maybe you go to Maldives. No. Um, e <laughs> our managers, of course, have uh, a lot of work <laughs> in Maldives, and they are very busy there. So they are okay. so much busy that they travel once uh, in three months maybe, sometimes in Czech Republic, in poor Japan. Poor people, really, poor things. <laughs> yeah, and they have to travel a lot, so, but um, <laughs> I'm not, I just travel not far from uh, our city, I sometimes I travel too far. Oh, maybe great place. Like <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Not the bigger, not the better places. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it. But uh, you know, uh, I don't recommend you uh, to walk there because it's really dangerous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, so now you it's, not, it's not sarcasm. You are not joking, yeah. Yeah, I'm not joking. Recently, we lose some of our employees, and uh, yeah, because. Uh, it's uh, really uh, some, dangerous. Some emergency happened. Uh, yes, and uh, unfortunately, we have some emergency situation with victims maybe twice a year. Oh, okay. I see. Be careful, okay? Take care of yourself. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. My dear people, uh, tell me please, have, uh, has everybody downloaded the document I asked you to? Yes. Put up your mm -hmm. hand if, if you did it. <laughs> yeah, okay, Tatiana, have you done it? Um, yes, I have. <laughs> yes, I have done. done. Okay, great. Let's open it together. And you know, it's not only about blah blah here. I want you just to learn a little bit as well. So, it's everything about work. Can you please, uh, in the first task, read two descriptions of uh, professions? And after reading, try to guess what the profession is. And please, type your guesses in our chat, okay? You need to type two professions. Now you read.
-hmm. Yes, everybody is correct. It's librarian. What about the second one? <laughs> are, are you puzzled and confused? <laughs> so, uh, somebody who runs his own business. Especially in winter. He <laughs> Especially in winter, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, who is the guy? Technical training. Yeah. Engineer. Engineer, I think. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> but, but why why in winter? Is it because people are so cold and they need to take a taxi to get somewhere? Maybe just because uh, they call in the middle of night. Oh, maybe. So any mm. other ideas? Um, maybe uh, evacuator. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 it's the wrong direction, not, not, not even that. Yes, you, somebody said, Pavel, I guess it was you. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, he's a kind of technician, but who is he exactly? Uh, I, I will... I will pa pa power plant operator, something like no. that. Do you know Plumping. this word? Yeah. Bummer, <laughs> who, who is he in Russian? Santechnik. Yes, this is it. I don't know what kind of reality he means because maybe in Russia they don't do not make so much money. But anyway, it's true. This is how it is uh, abroad, I guess. Okay, can you move a little bit down? And there is uh, task number two, and I want you to remember the prepositions that we use in these kind of sentences. People describe their uh, work, what they do. Okay. Take your time, maybe take a little piece of paper and please write down the prepositions. Pavel, don't do it here. Everybody can see that. <laughs> I have no paper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I work for Gazprom. Yes, I have no piece of paper. <laughs> yes, I just have uh, some papers like this. Oh, great! All that. <laughs> <laughs> I try to educate my son. Okay. Oh, and the super, super. I have a super book. No. Which one? What is that? Oh, you you can push the, uh, press the button. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. So when you are ready just let me know you can you can type ready in the chat Oh, 
have you have you been to Italy? Yeah, sure, I have. <laughs> yeah, last time well, I it was it. amazing. Yes, I, I told to uh, you know recently there have been only ladies in my class here. Not class, but anyway. So yeah, I told them a little bit about that. It wasn't my first time there, but I, I I love the country, and you know, and I'm an absolute fan of Italy, and I think it's the it's in my top places uh, to be called paradise on earth. I would say. Because the nature was amazing, uh, you know, the architecture and the culture part was amazing. The food was really delicious and so handsome guys, you know. Ladies are ugly, but men there, uh, it, it's something, you know. Words fail me to describe, so I love the country so much. <laughs> well, that's great. You promised us some photos. Did you share it? I will. No, no, I didn't, but I will. Okay. Okay. You, I, I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Okay. I will. So, guys, are you ready? I I, I failed the task. <laughs> oh, great! You will get two for that. Yeah. Sorry. I I will go <laughs> to the corner. Let's do it together, okay? So because we do not have so much time, so uh, we will read one by one. I think. Mm -hmm. So, Natalia, you will start the first sentence. Uh, I should read the full sentence, yes? Yes, the full sentence, yeah. Um, okay, uh, I work for a multinational company. Yeah, you're right. Because you know, many Russian people, they make a great mistake here because uh, we work in a company, in Russia, I mean. But mm -hmm. they work for a company, you're right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Tatiana, next one. I Number two. Manager. As a manager, great. Pavel, next one. Uh, <laughs> I'll fail the task. <laughs> Come on, do that. Um, Number three. Uh, I'm. Have no idea. <laughs> no, I have no idea. So, Andrew, do you know? Uh, maybe own ch church. Oh no, <laughs> Natalia, do you know? Um, uh, I guess. Um, I guess I'm ah. in charge of. I'm in charge of. You're right. What does it mean in Russian? Ответственный. Uh, Ответственный It's like to be responsible yeah. for. Yeah. In charge of. You're right. Thank you. Andrew, number four. Uh, I work uh, in a factory. In a factory. Right? No. In? No. For? What's the purpose? No. No. At a factory. At. at. I work at a factory. Okay, okay. So, Natalia, next one. Um, just a second. <laughs> uh, I'm responsible for. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Personal Thank you for work. that. Responsible for. Tatiana, next one. I'm in school, university. In school? <laughs> at. At. At school. <laughs> You know, there is a, you can say in school, but when you do not study there, you just enter the school because of some reason, I don't know, and leave it. For example, you are a parent, and you came to parents' meeting, but you, you are not a student, so you are in school, inside the mm -hmm. building. But at school, it means when you study there, and actually you are connected somehow to the place. Yeah. And mm -hmm. at university, it's the same story. Okay, okay. next one, Pavel. Uh, I'm in my third year. In my third year, you're right. Okay, it means that you are a student, you are you have no troubles, you are in your third year, life is great. Yeah? Okay, uh, next task we will share a little bit. There are four people here with us and there are five columns. So I will give you one column per each. You need to write uh, two more professions, okay? Natalia, can you please take the first the first column, sorry? You okay. need to write the professions, yes, uh, starting with, uh, sorry, starting, finishing with ER, okay? Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Tatiana, next one is for you, OR, mm -hmm. okay? Pavel, next one is for you, it's EAST, yeah? Mm -hmm. Pavel, can you hear me? Andrew, yeah. next one is for you. So, what is the suffix? Ian. Okay, and you know column number five is for everybody. Okay, please write two more professions there. So every each person has two columns.
so maybe st <laughs> we will start? <laughs> Just a little bit, let people think. Um, okay. <laughs> so somebody here has a very puzzled face, so... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So maybe I will start with my okay. column. Okay, yeah. come on, do that. Uh, I can add uh, archaeologist mm -hmm. and, and uh, maybe technologist. Technologist? No. No? Don't. Technician it is. It's not technologist. Oh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Journalist, yes. <laughs> okay, and, uh, so art artist. Artist, great. Who who is that by with, by the way in Russian? Artist. Художник. Oh, great! Thank you. So we are not elementary level here. Yeah, we know the difference. It's not artist. Actually. No, I, I I know this from you. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I great. Yeah, I'm doing I, a good job here. Thank you, Natalia. Can we can we check your column? Ah, yes, I have a lot of ideas about first column and I have no ideas about <laughs> the last. <laughs> okay, let's start with your first one. Um, the first uh, lawyer, mm -hmm. um, engineer, manager, mm -hmm. teacher. <laughs> yeah, yeah, many of them. Thank you. Tatiana, your column. Uh, doctor and uh, university professor. Okay, okay, good. So, Pavel, we have checked yours. Andrew, what about you? Well... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe programmist, да, это is program programmer, no? Program, but that's a different one. You need to finish with Ian. So how to say музыкант in English? Musician. Musician. And how to say politic? Politician. 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 Yeah, this is for you. Okay, what about the last one? Pavel, do you have any ideas? Any oh. professions? <laughs> Uh, no. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, so Tatiana, do you have any any ideas? Fireman. Fireman, yes. Policeman. Yes, you're right. Oh, fireman. Foreman, maybe. I'm sorry, who? F foreman. Mm, ah, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, great. Natalia, any ideas? I have no ideas. <laughs> no ideas. I think <laughs> only one profession uh, as, as I know, the, as I knew that. Um, like uh, not not with uh, usual ends. It it was uh, accountant, but it was here. Accountant, it's here. I can help you a little bit. How to say "mitsestra" in English? Uh, nurse. 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 Yeah. So it, it's perfect. And uh, it's it, now it's a question for advanced learners. How to say "cascadeur" in English? If you know. Oh no. <laughs> no idea. So, but it, you can see it in our chat. Julia is here to help you. Stunt. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. That's it. And I want us to finish with a test below. It's called the right job for you. Can you see? Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to work with the left side, where you can see some sentences. In the sentences, uh, there are some gaps. And you have verbs for these gaps. You see the verbs? Listen. What, what is there? Listen, help, not earn, blah, blah, blah. So these verbs you need to put into the sentences in infinitive form or in gerund form, in ing form. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Do that now. This is your first task. Okay, this is uh, for now. Do it. So infinitive or ing form.
So how are you doing? Difficult? <laughs> no? I finished, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> in okay. the results. I think so. We can start checking. Natalia, you will be the first. So the first sentence. Can you please? Uh, not not the first. The second is for you. Uh, I enjoy to help people with uh, with. No, it's a mistake. I enjoy okay. helping. Helping people with their problems. This is it. We okay. use in in form after enjoy. Okay, Tatiana, next one. I don't mind to, not to earn a very large salary. Oh no, I don't mind not earning a very large salary. What does it mean? I don't mind. Oh. Where where is the baby? Pavel, oh, is it it's, yours? It's, it's mine. <laughs> ah, it's yours. Okay, so we continue checking. Number four, Pavel, it's for you. Uh, I'd like to work as a part of mm -hmm. the team. I would like to work. You're right. Thank you, Andrew. Number five. Uh, I'm good uh, uh, at uh, making yes. quick quick decision. Yes, making quick decision. Great. Next one, Natalia. Uh, taking risks mm -hmm. doesn't stress me. Yeah, thank you so much, Tatiana. I don't find it uh, difficult to work by myself. No work by myself. Great. Next. <laughs> Phew. <laughs> Pavel. Uh, I'm not afraid of uh, managing large amount of money. Yeah, managing. You are right. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, I'm good uh, at expressing myself. You're lucky today. I'm good at is the second time for you. Okay, Natalia? Uh, I always try following my instincts. To follow? To follow. Try to follow my instincts. Okay, Tatiana? It's, it's important for me to be creative. To be creative. Good. Pavel? Uh, I enjoy uh, improvising. Improvising, thank you. Andrew, next one. Uh, uh, doing complex calculation is not difficult for me. Yes, you're right, thank you. Natalia? Uh, I enjoy solving logical problems. Yes, great, thank you. Next, Tatiana? I find it easy to understand theoretical principles. Yes, to understand, you're right, thank you. Pavel? I'm able to calculate space and distance. Yes. Can you share with me how many mistakes have you made? <laughs> Pavel, you especially. You were writing really hard. Uh, me? Zero, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, zero. But, uh, you know, I did it on the on a spot, so I didn't oh, write anything. Okay, before. okay. Our hero today. Natalia, how many have you made? Four. Four. Okay, Tatiana, what about you? A couple. A couple. Oh, <laughs> Foxy Fox, you are a couple. Okay, Andrew, what about you? Uh, I think four, two. Four, two as well. Okay, your next task, it will be very quick. Can you please tick the sentences that are true about you? Tick them. Uh, 
sorry, while you are ticking, uh, when you when you finish, you will see which part has the most ticks. And there, there is a comment on the right side, which job is good for you. Read it, and after that, uh, tell me if you agree or not. Oh, have you finished, Natalia? Have you finished? Yes. So, which which color is yours? Which area is yours? Uh, blue color is mine. Blue color. And do you agree with that? Uh, yes, I work in marketing, and uh, this test recommended me to work in marketing. Yeah. So everything is good. You have the perfect job, I would say. Okay, yes. Tatiana. What about you? I tick all uh, points in uh, in green in green field. Ah, in green one. So, do, do you agree? Do you agree with that? It's it has engineering here. Yes, it's engineering. Yes, mm -hmm. but uh, now I'm going to move in in other fields. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, I see. So, who knows? Maybe you will be more. Will be happier there. Okay, Pavel. Uh, yes, my area is also green. Green. Do you agree with that? Um, yes, <laughs> I think yes. Analytical mind, maybe it's your uh, how to say strong side. Okay, Andrew, what about you? Uh, yes, it's going to. Uh, Brilliant. It, it is true. <laughs> it's true. Okay, great. So as we can see, uh, everybody has the right place under the sun, and I hope that you will. Uh, I don't know. You will be lucky enough to find what you want, or maybe to keep what you have nowadays. My dear friends, I would like to thank you. We, it took a little bit more time, but I hope it was quite useful for you. And as I always say, I will be extremely glad to see you next time because our meetings we have on a uh, weekly basis. So once a week we have them. If you have time, follow our page and uh, you can join us anytime. Okay, if you do not have any questions, I can say goodbye to you and have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Thank you. Goodbye. 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 See you.